All right, <laughs> and we are back. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, just, just showing a little of the, the good good that does happen here from time to time. That before I know some of you guys, you know, you got, you got busy schedule. Sometimes you guys aren't able to enjoy it with us. So we still want you to enjoy it regardless. And that's why we have that. But right now we're going to go into game one here. <laughs> oh, <they, laughs> y'all thought you got it? <laughs> uh, come on, no. <laughs> not yet. We're not going to give you the Rashido for free, man. Not free just yet. Y'all got to wait. <laughs> you all grounded. You got potential 10 games yep. before it's any uh, type of thoughts. Delay in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. The gate has not been called yet. All right, we're going to game one here, though. Yeah, so we're seeing uh, the Diddy once again from K9. Um, yeah, the same thing last set, uh, Diddy versus Sheik. But, uh, last set, K9 actually was able to make the solid comeback and secure the game. Yeah. Despite how solid Boy it started out. And right now he's playing really solid. Yeah, he's a very great player. And I uh, could see a kill. Uh, look at the back oh air position. Oh, covering monkey. monkey flip and barrel. Uh, Rejecting for the recovery. It's very rough to get off the uh, edge in this game. Yeah, very but I could see in this situation. I could see Void actually not going for. Oh my gosh. Beautiful shield pressure, but K9 had enough of that. Tossed the guy to the skies, almost killed him. Yeah. Almost got the answer to the up smash as well. Very uh, main still spacing there from Void. Oh, there it is again, but he's going to trade with the up tilt. Doesn't die, but oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Air dodge is through and gets a double jump. What a beautiful reversal. Yeah, to close out that first stop. Two reversals, really. Uh, down air reversal and then, uh, yeah, air dodge. Just okay. Finish. So I could see for this grand finals. I could see Void actually going to shoot the route, not going to switch for Fox. It seems like Fox wasn't being uh, nearly as effective. And of course, ultimately, the character he's most fluid with, at the end of the day, is going to be this Sheik. Yeah. So I could see him kind of sticking it out this time around, not trying to go for the counter pick. So before, it seems like the counter pick game, the cycle that we were used to seeing, could be broken yeah. once and for all. Yeah. Um. Like not, not to make any excuses here, but it seems like only recently Boy has been focusing on practicing his Fox and Mewtwo. Uh, majority of like the whole summer, Smash has actually been practicing on exclusively and Sheik just for these tournaments. So possibly could be a little bit rusty in the matchup, but needless to say, uh, definitely fun right now. So, oh. Yeah, crossed him up with the back of the caught the empty hop. We're gonna throw back off, set the edge right again. Okay, he's gonna get good. snipe. Yeah, good trade. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, when you get like reads like that, you just you just know you're in the head. Walk back from the ledge, cover the roll with the grab. It gets right me every off. time, man. Cause he just trots. Like, yep. boy, he's just trotting away. Like, that trot, it's so menacing. Yeah, he's just walking away, and then it's just. Uh, Oh, it's just scaring K9 just to stay still and he's punching him. Okay, that's another grab, go to reverse. Uh, but that damage didn't really work out there. Fortunately for him, just another grab, you know, fair hit him off stage. Yeah. Now K9 still is a decent position, provided he gets some stage control here. That uh, avoid at 61%, a couple more hits, and we could see a uh, banana confirm. Oh, almost got that bouncing fish to catch his wake up, but went right over him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, I love that. Very smart. Down there to uh, destroy the banana, and you don't have no um, landing lag animation from your uh, down air there, so you can act immediately out of it while yes. killing the, uh, the banana right yeah, there. Yeah, very excellent play there. Something that a lot of people are still are really used to, so when they see that, you know, the first instance, like, okay, they're going to obviously trip. And I'm going to get my free punish. Nope. Get clapped up. And, of course, going at the charge. Going at the smash during the meantime. Like, get on that uh, extra knockback. So, great play right there from Floyd to close out that game one. Now, of course, we're going to have to win uh, two sets. Yep. Uh, three out of five. Whereas, can I try and reach the mission on your side? I have to just close out just one. Give him a long time to actually get some adaptation there. Potentially, if, if he goes to a set two, maybe he'll go on the Sheik. We might see the true classic on Sheik Mondays. But for now, this is Sheik who did it again. 
Yeah, and this is already different from the first set since, you know, Void actually gets into the first game and getting the counterfeit advantage. And I don't know. Gonna have to make the adjustments. Seemed like, unlike the first set where he was actually dictating a lot of the, the set, he's gonna have to fight at Void's face. Alright, throw him off. Got the air out in there. Set the situation again. Try to catch it again. Oh, yep. wow. Uh, that is the edge guard 101 on D. All right, um, these edge guards definitely were yeah. not present in the, um, the first set they played, but yeah. now that he's actually so on point, it's very rough for K9. Yeah. That is an answer. Also like the crouch facing as well to get past the four there. Oh, dropped his down tilt up smash. Getting his boy a second chance, oh, dropping it oh, a second wow. time. Wow, that's enough. 137, he's gonna do it. <laughs> didn't even air dodge, just flat out just went for it. Okay, not a chance to utilize the banana pressure there. Void just immediately trying to set up the edge guard. Well, oh, caught the monkey flip with and the up smash, not letting him land. He's reading his edge guard so well. Some ledge options for him, rather. Okay, here comes Hina. Put himself past the ledge though with the overstation on the four there. Now, Void. Looking like he does not want to let Cameron gain center stage. Caught the landing with the grab once again. DI mix up with the back throw, but does not get his follow up. That's a for your dodge. There, that's what do it. Cross yes, up, it will. up there. Yeah, gone. All right. Gave him the crucial air dodge he needed. Then get the cross up up there just for good measure. Measure to still up the stock. Are we going to see a 3 all back? Yeah, it's possible. Um, I don't know. Cameron's pushed to a corner here. Uh, yeah, he's going to stay Diddy. Okay, it's gonna ride, let it rock. And just stay on Smashville. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Boy's really great on this stage, especially if you've already lost twice on Smashville. If you're, just, if you're gonna stick with Diddy, I would at least try to go for like a counter kick. But I must feel comfortable on the stage. <laughs> see Void a little too eager right there to get, get those combos on the moving platform. Yeah. Try to get that back roll there, but he's wow. gonna sniff it out. Good for patience, though. Staying in his uh, knockdown animation as long as possible. A throw. Oh, try to wait for an air dodge cross. We get a, a down there there. Good clap. Clap yeah. him up. The extra damage. Oh, dropped the banana confirmed. Oh, and for that, yeah. loses five. Down tilt, forward smash. Um, I know that it works a lot easier on fastballers, so I can see that actually connecting relatively uh, reliably on cheap. Oh, good walk forward. Uh, I just like these double jab walkways versus the boy. Oh, wow, barrels. So much damage. Barrels into up smash. Oh, my gosh. Wow, oh, he's, trying to go for it he's going for all the barrel damage. And honestly, I don't blame him. The stock lead it does such good damage. I would go for it as well, but yeah, there you go. Phil. Yeah, still at the stock. 77% on Void here. Not take much for this man to uh, rack up the oh, percent. Oh, man, gets hit with the F tilt. Some more damage. But have some answers. The there. I'll try to snipe him. Nice thing up the ledge. Nice command grab to catch the grab there. Oh, another catch. Paul Void and Shield trying to shield the banana. Ooh. Oh my gosh, just let it rip. Yeah, I like the position with the turn around jump cancel banana throw. Gave him just enough space to actually get away with the pivot X smash there. Oh, command grab on the platform. If you're shielding on the platform, that's what gives Diddy free command grab. Okay, anti okay, here with the up smash. Yeah, oh, the up smash. DI in on the fourth throw, but. This one could be an up tilt. Yes, it is. Oh, nice movement. Snuck in the back area. Has Void at the ledge. Oh. Good snipe right there with the needles for him to actually get back to recovery. And now, yep, he has the banana behind him. Canine can't retreat. Tech chase. Oh, he's going to trip, though. Yeah, good challenge from Canine. If you gave him an air dodge there, that actually potentially could in the stock. Oh, oh, my goodness. And that is a stock and chic? Raid chic? Wow. I like the uh, jump from the ledge there, dude. Uh, on stage, that was actually super quick.